Hello Aqua friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole and we're going to do this cute little mini cabin mountain scenery today. I'm working wet on wet for my first layer and I'm going to go straight in to get uh, the sky. And as you can see by the reference photo, there's quite uh, the bright sunlight uh, peeking through on the right hand side of the sky. So I'm really trying to get those sun rays uh, coming through and have that sort of dramatic effect. So I'm using a damp brush and just lifting. I'm really digging my chisel brushes lately. I have a lot of flower tutorials that I've been practicing and working on that will be coming up for the spring. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, please uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the future videos. So basically I'm using a cooler blue for the snow and I am just putting in those snow banks. So as your paper dries, if you want that sun to be brighter, you can lift up those areas again. So with a blue-gray mixture, I'm putting in the mountains. I do love these calligraphy brushes. I think that they add some really nice texture. And I'm basically just flicking the brush in little tiny motions to get these distant uh, trees on the mountain. So my paper's starting to dry there. <laughs> so I have to go over it with some water. So it's not a big deal, you see. So if your paper starts drying on you, just re-wet it. So there I go, adding some more trees, wetting that side. Now, I love the shadow green. I think it works out really great for distant landscape backgrounds because it's a very muted green. And I'm putting in all those pine trees uh, alongside the cabin. This is a very fast, cute little project. I think it might have taken me like 30 minutes. So, super fun. Coming into February here, we still got another good month of snow, <laughs> at least where I live, <laughs> in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Although I'm from uh, the Great White North in Canada, so the winters here are actually extremely mild. <laughs> we don't get much snow, but growing up, I had a ton of it, and uh, I was always outside, so I love the snow. So while it's still wet, I'm adding in some of the darker colors. So I like to mix either uh, Prussian blue or indigo with my shadow green. So I get some more contrast here. That area needs to be a lot darker. So I'm darkening things up as you can see. I'm just painting around the cabin. I decided that um, it would just be easy enough to paint around it instead of having to mask it out. So notice I wet that area a little bit so that things uh, blend a little better. 
So I'm putting down uh, that shadow green, getting in all these pine trees. So I just keep building up the layers and where it, like you see in the reference photo, the taller trees are, uh, the more contrast that I need to make these pine trees show up. So I'm going darker with my colors. So I'm basically just going over my first layer of the green that I put down and making these pine trees a lot darker. I'm blending out that tree line so that uh, it kind of blends in with that snow a little bit better. Adding in my darker shadows of the snow using a purpley blue mixture. Adding the snow covered cabin roof. And with a very watery mixture of uh, a burnt sienna, I'm putting in the cabin color. Now it's quite distant in the background. I want to make sure that it's not too bright. So you could adjust your colors just to make sure that uh, it does blend in. Using some uh, sepia, I'm adding in those shadows, the windows, the door, the tiny little fence that is around the cabin. Just a couple of horizontal vertical lines just a suggestion. It doesn't have to be super duper detailed since it's so far in the background. And that's it for today's cute little painting. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you guys give it a try and I'll see you next week.